just walking up through rock pools, setting off on a little hike for the night, going out to Pembury Knoll, which is a Skirting along that woods for a while and then I'm going to be heading into the woods and there's a, an old hill fort over there and part of Grim Ditch which is part of this extensive earthworks that is on the border of Hampshire and Dorset. Yeah. I guess this is the hill fort. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're right in the hill fort here. Obviously, uh, got a plantation of trees on it now. And got this massive tree here that's been just snapped off and come down. Wow. A few a few tons of timber. Yeah. sunshine and I was just I took my jacket off a moment ago and I got quite cold. Oh that's better. Oh lovely lovely bit of sun on the back of my neck. There's a couple of burial mounds over on the left there quite small ones, probably have uh, had a bit of ploughing damage over the years. Just coming up to this pylon and I saw on the map that in the distance and on the line of the pylon there's a, a long barrow over there. I think it's probably over in that. But there's one just down there behind that next pylon just there but I think there might be something else behind that we can't see so that's the uh, spire of Martin Church so I'm heading down into Martin and then I'll be then heading back up on Pentridge Knoll so I've got to descend down to there and then climb up to the uh, spot where I'm. Hello there, you've got a little lame one there. What are you guys up to then? Hey? 
Are you looking for some food? <laughs> piggy, 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 piggy. Yeah. I'm not going to put my hand in there because I'm sure you'll bite it. Can I get a bit of sunshine? Very pretty, isn't it? Lovely little village. Just stopped in Martin's for a sandwich. It's about one o'clock. Just coming up to one o'clock. Was had a good two hours walk, so. Okay. Um, I'm just walking now up to Pembury Knoll. And it's quite cold now, even though the sun is, well, just come into the sun now and that's actually made quite a difference by the got. That way, it's quite deep in places, probably been dug out. Uh, over the years in places but some of it that remains you can see it's quite substantial and it would be the same here there's obviously this bit's been filled in to uh, to get us across you can see the ditch snaking off into the distance down there so as I say quite a substantial countryside Purbecks over there, which are on the south coast of England. And that's probably that is Bournemouth on the skyline, with the sort of square structures which you probably can't see. And Probably not quite clear enough. Yeah, I can just make out the Isle of Wight directly in front of me, but it's really not going to be clear enough to see with the camera. Down there in the valley, you've got the old Roman road called Ackling Dyke, which is, I don't think we can see it, oh, where the, where the cars are moving along there. That's like a continuation of it. So it's, but it's sort of down, comes comes across and across the landscape and joins it over there. A little spot that's going to get the best of the rest of the sun and catch the early morning sun and to warm me up. quilts. Right, I'm just going to have some cocoa. I'm going to start 
my dinner in a minute. You can see the everything's going starting to go pink. Fantastic. So I've got this. Uh, look what we found: lamb hot pot, June. 2022, so a little bit out of date, but I'm hoping it's going to be. I've got some golden vegetables and rice. Mm. So there we are. Vegetables, rice, and lamb hot pot. then leave no trace as they say I think I've got to just go through these next three fields and along that hedge and then the valley is where Rockbourne is before that forest on the hillside so hopefully that'll be it Plenty of water. Pears on the roof there. 